as the head coach of, of uh, Alliance MMA and Dominic Cruz, my job is to structure his whole fight camp around what I uh, perceive to be his opponent's strengths, meaning I, I bring in different athletes to challenge Dominic, whether they be in his boxing, his kickboxing, his wrestling or jiu-jitsu, you know, whatever the, whatever the, the opponent poses the most threat in is what we try to, try to focus, correct, and, and also gear Dominic's training into a strong offensive attack from him. What are the opponent's weaknesses? What do we need to exploit and how to beat the guy? And make sure he's training hard enough, make sure his, uh, he's getting the right workouts, and make sure he's getting the right amount of rest. So it's about a 10-week camp, and uh, like I said, it's, it's my job to organize it and make sure he shows up to fight the day of. When I'm not in fight camp, um, I force myself to do three two-a-days a week and then three one-a-days. So I train six days a week, but I only train one, one time a day three of those days out of the week. The other three days are two-a-days, and the two-a-days consist of one technical workout to work on my technique and improve myself, and the other one's a grindy, grimy workout where I'm sparring or wrestling real hard or, or something to just break my body down and keep me in good shape and keep me healthy and keep me strong. This, this fight camp, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better camp. We've had athletes from all over the world come and, and help Dominic train. We had Ross Pearson come out for about three weeks from England and help him train. We've had... Uh, a couple of guys from Florida came out from uh, FFA, you know, to help Dominic. They've been here the whole camp. We got a couple of wrestlers from Penn State, a couple of wrestlers from ASU, and uh, I mean, it's camp's going great. The difference between now and when I'm off season for my for my training camps and stuff is the intensity level just is is it skyrockets, and we bring in the the best athletes I can from all over the place. I mean, we got a guy in from Miami, we got a guy in from. Uh, a bunch of guys from Arizona, Pennsylvania, I base uh, Brazil. I bring, I basically bring in all the guys I can in every style that I know are better than me at that specific style, and I go with them to basically lose the entire camp so that when I get in the fight, it makes the fight easy. Uh, so really, what it comes down to is if I survive my training camp, the fight's easy. <laughs> and um, you know, I train. For fight camp, I train. Um, I have three practices every Monday, and then I have two practices Tuesday through uh, Friday, and then I have one practice on Saturday. Uh, Sunday I have completely off, and that's just to rest my body. But I guess the three practices on Monday kind of makes up for the day I have off on Sunday. So you can blame Eric Del Ferro for that one. He's a slave driver. <laughs> Today's sparring session consists of about. Uh, nine nine five-minute rounds of sparring with about 45 seconds rest between each round. And uh, we change opponents on him almost every round to make sure he's being pushed and make sure he's being challenged. The things that I'm looking for in, in, in Dominic is uh, the, the set the pace of the, of the sparring, uh, the, set the timing, and uh, make sure he's using his range right and make sure he's winning every round.
first four weeks of camp is, is dead or actually sorry six weeks of camp is dedicated to um, making my body process lactic acid at a high pace so it's just grimy it's very very heavy long practices two hour practices that just break my body down to nothing and then I have to figure out a way to perform either, even though it's broken down and that's how you train your mind and your muscles to process lactic acid that's the first six weeks and after that the last four weeks become cardio and speed where it's not as heavy on the muscles and that's going to allow me to peak and it's everything's fast twitch everything's quick and everything's cardio based so that uh, you know pad work no bag work anymore um, high level uh, quick sparring just in and out sparring and that's it so uh, those are the things we do and um, it's gotten me to this point so far. Dominic's strengths are his uh, work ethic, his footwork, and his speed. You can't, you can't catch him. It's almost like Flash Gordon. Actually, I think I'm going to start calling him that. Dominic Flash Gordon Cruz. <laughs> Flash! <laughs> That's how you got to be for, for Halloween, buddy. Flash Gordon this year. Flash! Flash Gordon, the red, I see suit, red, yeah. the red suit with the little the lightning hair. bolt. He's got the hair too. Right? He has the hair or the, the the cap with the lightning bolts on the side. Yeah. Trey with Dominic's been amazing, man. You know, he's always a uh, he's always a good character to hang out with, and he's always a good motivator. Without even trying to be a motivator, he kind of just does him, and you feel like a lazy ass if you don't follow him. Huh? biggest difference between this fight now and the last fight is experience, plain and simple. Um, I have the experience, I understand what it takes to be here, I know I belong here, I've beaten some of the best guys on the planet and I have confidence in that and um, you know, I've, I've fought that big show and uh, I have that experience behind me just like him and um, you know, now I'm better than him. <laughs>